have all the information that I could have given you. And tonight is a another gathering night. I don't Yay. care when you guys show up. Um, if you want to get there early, you want to get there late, or do you want to continue to roll for that? That's up to you guys. Um, I think. Whatever. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say whatever system works best for you, Tom. It doesn't like I said. Whatever you guys want to do. I think I'm comfortable with like driving my car up to the area, but then like waiting for the specific people. Okay. I'm fine with coming right. in last like last time. <laughs> it seemed to work out I'm better fine. for me that way. <laughs> Did you roll sin for your... your yeah, weekly? I got two successes. Alright. Better than no successes. It was, it was, was a nine or better? Yes. Okay, yep. Yeah, two successes. Had a nine and a ten. Alright, let me write that down for you. Sweet. All right. Uh, so the place opens up at about seven o'clock, and everyone's favorite Seneschal is in her spot. Um. Are we rolling to see who comes in first, or you just want one of us to say we are? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if, 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 you, if you want to roll, if that makes it easier for you guys, then we'll just roll. I mean, I'll yeah. roll in first. I don't care. Do it. Okay. Yeah. I'll just I... go up in the elevator. Immediately right. go straight for the bar when I get up there. All right. And give a nod to um. I always forget her name. Who's the girl up on the... That's Iris. Iris. That's what it is. She's just like Seneschal. Nod to her as I come in. And just be like... She just looks at you in a creepy smile and she's like... <laughs> so, she gives you a little... <laughs> a little wave. <laughs> is Bear there? Um, Not yet. Okay, then I will take a seat at the bar and say the usual whiskey, please, on the rocks. All right. The, the young gentleman uh, brings you over a glass, sets it in front of you. Goes, there you go. I'm he not... goes back to, to cleaning glasses and things like that. It's, correct me if I'm wrong. I meant to ask this last time. You guys are just drinking for effect, right? Just for the aesthetics of it. It doesn't do anything for us, right? Yeah, we don't get drunk. Over okay, this. right. Just making sure. Uh, just like the taste of it. Yeah. I thought you couldn't taste it. I mean, I mean, you I can taste up... it. You can taste it, but some people um, have like an, an aversion or an affinity to be able to do that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I remember you saying you could take that as a as a. Not a flaw. What the opposite was. Well, there's, there's, well, there's merit. both. There's a flaw and there's a merit. The okay. merit allows you to to eat and drink and and be okay with it. But you know, if you're taking just like a sip or whatever, I mean, that's the 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 merit goes for like eating a full like meal. Okay, so I could have been like sipping my time this whole time. Correct. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You want. All right. Now I know. If you want a fruity yeah, every, drink with an umbrella, we can. Every game, that. I have Make a fucking happen. glass of wine. Yeah, like, but I just well, Bender is a robot who smokes and drinks. Well, he needs to drink. Yep. He smokes just for effect. Yeah, I, I don't he, know if that's what you guys are doing. He is required to drink. Yeah. <laughs> he rusts if he doesn't. And there's nobody here yet who was here last time. Tom, sorry. Like perhaps just Destiny Irish. and her group of friends, or. Destiny is not here yet. Okay. I will just sit and sip and see who comes in as time goes then. There you go. Okay. I'd love to show up next. <laughs> okay. Dear oh, God. Uh, yeah, Did, my later, in. Did my package arrive, Tom? Yes, it did. Ooh, I'm bringing it with me. Let's go. Ooh. But not in the package. Like, taking it out. Yeah. 
Q. What's uh, in the box? <laughs> it's not in the box anymore. It's under the robe. Um. Yeah, so I guess I'll come in early and uh, go over and get something fresh from the bar and uh, find a shadowy corner. And nod at Kriegoth. By the way, common sense tells you that if you show up with that and anybody finds out that you have it, you're going to be in serious trouble. Oh. Oh, 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 no, oh, man. Great, great. I would leave it at home. Oh, no. <laughs> then no. <laughs> yep, I would leave it at home. Oh, you know, no, Thomas, we... I hope one day I do something really stupid and you just say to me, common sense tells you you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, I've been trying to tell you that every game. You don't listen to me. <laughs> My character's name is asshole. common sense. <laughs> Thomas is nice. <laughs> I had a Baja Tom. Tom. I had a conversation with a real life friend that I used to LARP with, and I was telling him about you guys. And um, I said, so I gave them all. I've never heard of those. (laughs) I said, I gave them all common sense to start out with. He goes, well, that's real cool of you. And I was like, well, you know, I don't want them to go through and do the shit that we did when we were we first started out. I have no consequence. You're dead. <laughs> You're pretty much. dead. <laughs> well, uh, and yeah. you died. What? <laughs> I'm just going to go door to door and drink blood from people until I'm full. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's I'm wrong? just going to murder this priest. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go All well. right. So you show up next, Kriegoth, without your, your special toy. Yeah, no toy. I don't want to get in no trouble. Trying, trying, to, trying to be a good boy. Not getting no trouble. What are you doing? Uh, like I said, <laughs> go to the bar. Get something fresh. Find a shadowy corner. Wave to Nadia. Hi, Nadia. How you doing? It's You're not Nadia. Me. Who the fuck's Nadia? Who's Nadia? Who's Nadia? Arabella. Arabella. He did just blaze up before you all came over. <laughs> Let me just like hit the lie and tell you I can remember, but it would be a lie. Arabella. Yeah, let's just yeah, keep Arabella. Why does no one ever else. remember Arabella's name? You <laughs> can't remember anyone's fucking name. <laughs> Patricia, Sin, Thomas, Jonathan, Kriegoth, Emery, Arabella. I'm far too high to remember. Please don't try to <laughs> To me, that was just sounds. Yes. Oh, yes. Sounds. They were good sounds. I like those sounds, but I'm not going to remember Wait, them. As vampires, can we get high? Or is it like the alcohol? It's like the alcohol. Oh, if you find somebody it. who's high, if you find someone who just like blazed up and is super high, like death is right now, you could probably drink a couple points from him and get a little blazed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude! You drank some points for me right now. You will pass out, and you will wake up to me feasting on you. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. If I had a vampire at my fucking well, red me with a good time, oh. sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> well, well, well. All I'm is, you can ask Fran what it's like to put a fucking vampire in front of me. It's not a good idea. Don't do that. What do you mean putting a vampire in front of you? Well, oh, you weren't there for it, okay? So, Frail <laughs> had a and the character pissed me off. And 15 we minutes after this side tangent. Fail, so I lost. So I didn't take it well, and I plotted that guy's fucking de- uh, downfall. Well, the opportunity soon presented itself after he was outed as being a fucking vampire, and then I drank him like a fucking Capri Sun. And yeah, basket, that goes that goes back to hold on that goes back to our argument that you automatically assume you know who's evil and deserves to die when you don't but that that's fine i never mm-hmm. said i knew who's evil and deserved to die okay well the people that you and for no reason would say otherwise <laughs> right there was a all reason all right. oh, i said that guy pissed me off and it say he was a bad guy a few minutes after Prigoth shows up um Sin walks to three girls, uh, Destiny, Jessica, and um, an Asian girl that you've seen around. 
but you don't know her name. And she walks by and they go and find themselves a little table and sit down. I'm so sorry, Tom. My headset in this computer cuts in and out. What kind of girl? I heard girl walks in and Asian sits down. Asian girl? Okay, said, thank you. Three. I said there's an Asian girl that she's in. She's with Destiny and Jessica. She's with Destiny and Jessica. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Thank and, you. And they go to their normal table and sit down. Okay, I... I'm going to, if it's okay, oh, Kriegoth's there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, that's right. Do I, Kriegoth, are you moving? Yeah, where the hell is Kriegoth? Are I'm you sitting in my, yeah, on the corner table in the shadow. And you saw them? Of course. And if you're you doing were, nothing. If you were looking straight at me, you'd see me sniff the air and then go, ugh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, so blah, blah. I, I will... Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to think of how to... That's fine. I'll just walk over and say, good evening, ladies. How are you doing tonight? Oh, hi. How are you? Destiny says. And I'm good. Can I get you guys a drink? Or are you okay? Jessica just waves you off. She says, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, the Asian girl just shakes her head no, that she's good. And Destiny's like, oh, yeah, I'll take a, 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 a nice Chardonnay. So nice of you. Thank you. Not a problem. Anytime. And I go over to the bar and grab one and come back and hand it to her, if I can do it that fast. Whatever you tell me. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, sprint you, to the bar. That, you, you're, not, you're, not that, you're not that far from her, so yeah, you can do that. That's okay. cool. She okay. runs She takes it and she she thanks she politely says thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. So I don't think I know your friend. I know Jessica. Hi, I'm Arabella. Hi, Arabella. Um, my name is. Sorry. You're fine. Her name's Nadia. <laughs> she goes, My name's Esther. It's nice to meet you. Now you, you gave up, didn't you? <laughs> 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 it's nice to meet you too. How long have you been around? Oh, I've lived here for a few years. Um, I don't get to get out much. The my bosses tend to keep me busy. Oh, is your does your boss come here or no? Oh yeah. I'm Tremere. Tremere? Oh, okay. Very um, nice. You, common sense, uh, you know that they're very strict and organized, and usually the newcomers um, aren't seen very much because they have to, to do all the, the crap work. They're right. like, th yeah, think of them as um, interns <laughs> mm -hmm. at a hospital. They get, the, the new oh, ones God. get stuck with the, the, the grunt work, the, 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 you know, JD and scrubs. Yep. Still <laughs> work. Yeah. Like you get, to, you get to, we get to do all this cool stuff and then you get to, to clean up our shit. And if you have enough time left over, then we might let you do something. cool. That's, that's basically the organization of the Tremere. You have to nice. earn your way up. So. Okay. So <laughs> she doesn't get out much. Esther is, doesn't get out much. Well, I hope you have a great evening. Um, lots of eventful things happen here. I'm sure Destiny can attest to that. <laughs> Very Destiny interesting. She just looks and she goes. <laughs> she just nods her head. Well, if you girls need anything or anything, I'll be over at the bar. Just wanted to say hi. Well, hello. Thank you, Arabella. We appreciate it. You should just come hang out with us sometime. Yeah, definitely. I just have to say hi to a couple people, and then maybe I'll just come back by. Okay. Well, have a good night. You too. 
As I watch this, like, fake parade of, of, like, being decent when I know that bitch is a scumbag, I just go, what? Uh, do you do it loud enough that someone can, that she hears you? Okay, talking. Oh, yeah. I treat she her turns, like a cough, though. And she's like, she rolls her eyes. Just such trash. Uh, my red ones bore into her like a fucking laser. She turns and looks at you and just gives you this look. Wait, hold on. I'm not looking at it. Uh, let me see the look again. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Can we get that as a gift? <laughs> Bring it, big boy. <laughs> I just very slowly just make a kissy face like. Mm. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. If he gets too annoying with that, I'll take his mouse away. <laughs> take my mouse away. No, not you, Dustin. So. <laughs> I, I am here for the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> I guess Patricia will walk in next. Hold on one second. No, now. <laughs> <laughs> so impatient. Supposed to get off the elevator and the elevator door closes it down on her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like it does that off. open up and it's not even to the floor yet. <laughs> it's like me when I got to work yesterday and I got in the elevator and hit the button for my floor and it just, the doors closed and it just sat there. I'm like... Okay, right. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> Guess I'll poke it a few more times. What is your humanity there, Big Scruff? Uh, let me check for you. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Seven. All right. Is that it? <laughs> I'm just I'm just rolling, the dice. <laughs> rolling the dice to figure it out. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes you got to. <laughs> as human as you want me to be, baby. I'm as I'm as inhuman as I can get away with being. <laughs> what are you feeling right now? Me? Yes. Let me think about it for a second. <laughs> No, right now you're having this little interaction with with her. What exactly are you feeling as you two are going back and forth? All right, no, okay. You want unfiltered? Here we go. Unfiltered. Uh, it's 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 playful, you know. I, I'm Is just it? I'm just toying with her. Yeah, okay. playful. I'm not I'm not threatening. Uh, I, I, there's no threat in my voice, just this mockery and laughter just dancing across my smile. Liar. No, I'm just kidding. You have this intense elation of playfulness that just flows up through you. Mm -hmm. I'm just giggling, like, slowly under my breath. <laughs> 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 if, if, you were, if, if like a third party was watching me I would look like a fucking madman in the corner giggling to myself with with just this fucking absolutely sinister but like like playful smile just etched on my face and burning red eyes <laughs> um anyone watching destiny sees her elbow Jessica and she whispers something to him and they both go oh <laughs> I just continue to smile smirk if you will yeah and you will continue to do that for the next hour that's fine <laughs> Nate All right, who comes in next? Patricia's uh, still Patricia. fighting with the elevator door. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so no one will open. until she gets that figured out. The door is open for Patricia. And 
<laughs> the long hallway down to the entrance. Comes. It was at that moment Patricia realized she was in a phone booth. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn. Uh, probably not very yeah, wrong. Very <laughs> uh, so Patricia exits the elevator, gives it a nasty glare, and enters the room. <laughs> You can use the Kriegoth excuse that you're not used to this level of technology. <laughs> 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 so, um, as you come in, you see Iris on the, the dais. Um, Arabella is next to the bar. Um, Kriegoth is across the room, and you see Destiny and her little cronies sitting at a table, probably about three tables away from him. Okay. Uh, Patricia would start walking towards Kriegoth's table. He's got this then... eerie, creepy smile on his face. Yeah. Like, creepier than Iris. And then she Wait. changes her other mind and turns and heads for the bar. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I get... Oh, oh, where's my accent? There it is. I found it. Okay, can <laughs> I get a... Uh... Oh boy, what would uh, what would a proper drink be um for tonight? Maybe Southern Comfort. <laughs> well, it's like there's this little voice in my head whispering that I want a Southern Comfort. Sure, we'll go with that. I don't think that's quite the aesthetic I'm looking for, but I'll go for it. Would you like that on the rocks or plain? Rocks, please. All right. Opens up the little ice bin, gets a little scoop, pours you a couple pieces in, and gives you a, a, a nice big tumbler about halfway full. There's your drink, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And heads off and starts cleaning his glasses again. Uh, Patricia's going to just kind of lean against the bar and taking the scene um there's with the exception of uh, with everybody that i've spoken with probably if uh, about 10 more people 15 more people have come in and they're just spread out around around the the, the ballroom mm, patricia's not specifically looking for anybody she's just got her head on the swivel um, and anybody that might see her notices she's dressed a little bit different than usual. She's always in like some kind of a dress, but this one is like a very long, like a woolen type skirt and then a white button up blouse with a plaid, like a very fine plaid jacket over the top. And then she's wearing this hat that looks like a Sherlock Holmes type hat. And she's carrying a notepad. Okay. A bribbling? Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? Is that I what it's called? Of course you would know what that is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Never heard of that word a day in my life, but yes, you would know. Uh, okay. I think that might be it, but I'm not sure. It's a deer stalker. Deer stalker. Interesting. Hey. I wonder where I heard yes. bribbling. I thought that was a hunter. Uh, brib, 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 bribly. I think I spelled that real wrong. Hat. Yeah, mine came over here. Are you guys. sure that's a thing? I might be saying nope, it wrong it's too. A, it, There's always that it's chance. Deer stalker hat. Yeah, I don't know what a bribly is, other than I keep getting Brinleys. Yeah, so I might yes. be saying it wrong, so don't quote me on it. No, you're good. Deer stalker. Yeah, it's a deer stalker. Yeah. All right, stop telling him he's wrong. He feels bad enough. Hey, hey, Nate. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> yeah. You're wrong. Yeah. Thank you. It's I okay. appreciate it. It was interesting to learn. I should have looked it up before now, but I figured if I just said Sherlock Holmes hat, everybody would know. If I'd said deer stalker, it would be like, what's well, that? Other names are Trapper and Yushenka. So, oh, Yushenka. So there you go. Yushenka, my hat. And, uh, and <laughs> Brisby is what Nate's talking about, and it's it's damn near the oh. same thing. So you are correct, Nate. Oh, okay. 
Bisby? Bursby. What? Yeah, Bursby. B I R S P P Y. And it is a Sherlock Holmes hat. And it was 100% correct. Bursby. I'll send it to chat so that way we can just end the great hat debate. <laughs> I'm going to think about this for days. A Busby hat. A Busby hat is what the guards wear at um, the Buckingham Palace. Those Palace. Big, yeah, those no. big black fur ones. Those are beef eaters. It says Busby. <laughs> <laughs> They're beef eaters. I promise. Oh, wait, no, the, yeah. Welcome to the Vampire Masquerade special edition of Which Hat is What? Uh, right. Apparently, it's a beer skin. A bear skin, bear skin, actually. Yeah, it's a bear and skin. And they call it a Busby. It said it. Do you see the hat? I am trying to channel her Sherlock Holmes as she is trying to gather information, not subtly at all. <laughs> it's going to be really because, funny when I walk in now. Because Patricia. That's it. All right. So you're going to just sit there. Um, who's next? Uh, Sin will walk in next. Okay. He'll hit the button for the elevator to go up, and the elevator doors open and immediately close on him again. <laughs> what is wrong with this damn machine? Why do I get <laughs> images of these beef eater hats? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should go home and change clothes. <laughs> Uh, Sin will walk in and see Iris up on top and really should get this over with. <laughs> it goes up. Good evening, Iris. How are you doing this fine evening? I'm fine, thank you, Sin. How are you tonight? I am well. It's even That's... creepier watching you on camera. <laughs> and this is what I do. This is what I do when I was when I whenever I do her voice because I have to get into to get into character with her. Well, that's this great fantastic. To hear, Sin. Yes. What are your plans for tonight? Well, I plan to mingle and you know see how everybody's week has gone. Did you have a decent week? I did. Thank you. Anything of note happened for you? Not for me. No. Well, I guess that can be a good thing. Any night that I get to get out of my coffin is a good night. Yes, this is true. Would you like something from the bar? I could go get you something if you would. You'd I've like dined some. already, but thank you. You are most welcome. I don't take up any more of your time. I will go to the barn myself and give me a tasty refreshment. Have a rest of have a good rest of your night, then. Thank you very much. You as well. And <laughs> toodles. Damn it! I did it again. <laughs> nice. I made I made Bill look. I was like, look, look, look at Tom's face while he's talking, and he just turned and started cracking up laughing. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's easier to not crack up when, when <laughs> the camera's not on me. I can just sit there and be as creepy as I need to be. Uh, Sin will take notice of Patricia and her new outfit. All and right. He will make his way to the bar. Good evening, Patricia. Oh, good evening, Sin. How, oh, how are you? I am doing well this evening. How about yourself? Oh, you know, just just trucking along. Yeah. Well, I kind of wondered how it was going to go, because I get on the elevator and it closes on me, and I have to go up and down twice. Oh, well, I just got up here and it was just stuck closed, so it wouldn't let me out. Might need to talk to Bear about the maintenance on the elevator. 
Oh, I didn't think he did maintenance. I thought that was Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll think on Anthony on this. Yeah. So, so, how's the club going? Really good. You know, I'm really close to opening up. I am just finishing up the, the scripts for the the plays. Skits. They're not really plays. Well, kind of a play. Kind of not. But I've got three that I've settled on. Oh, really? At least to start. I'm kind of figuring I'll, like, switch them out every once in a while. Well, I would be honored to attend. Oh. Do you want to hear the names? Absolutely. Okay. I, I, so, I, I'm doing three, like I said. Uh, the first one is Dracula. And then, like, the colon, you know, like, on the ticket, it'll be Dracula, colon, vegan to vampire. <laughs> yes. This is a good joke. Yes, because, you know, I, know I figured the, the best way to, like, be incognito is to be overly obvious. Because then they're like, oh, we saw vampires there. I'll be like, well, yeah, of course you did, because that's the show. See? You were not so wrong. Oh, yeah. And then the second one, uh, this one's going to have to have a little bit more of an adult rating. I mean, they're all going to be for adults only, but I'm going to have to put some kind of warning on it because there's a lot of, like, innuendos. Um, but it's called Big Old Beaver, the story of the Missouri Fur Company. Are you having this discussion at the bar, by the way? Yeah. yeah. I would choke on my drink. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny you mentioned that because there is actually a play called Dracula, a comedy of terrors. I, I did see that. I was trying to come up with my own what would be funny, and I, I was like, ooh, vegans. Because I always thought it would be funny if you're like a vegan and then you get turned into a vampire, and then you have like this like debate on whether or not what, what do you do? <laughs> So, um, and then the last one that I came up with is, uh, vote Roseanne Hatfield for prom queen. And that one's just kind of like a spoof of the Hatfields and the McCoys. She got knocked up by one of the McCoys. Mm. Yeah. So I thought that could be kind of fun. <laughs> Very interesting. Thanks. Good names for titles. I, I, you know, I'm just working on the artwork for it now. I, I'm, I'm thinking about having some of that commissioned out, though, because, well, <laughs> between me and you, I'm not sure if you could tell what a beaver was if I drew it. So there could be some question. Beavers are very angry, destructive creatures in Russia. I, uh, um, I honestly didn't know that they had beavers in Russia. Of course they had beavers in Russia. Beavers are everywhere. Well, I don't know. I'm, I've never been to Russia, so I wouldn't know. I, I mean, it's not like I'm a frequent caretaker of beavers. Not a zookeeper. It is very cold. <laughs> cold well, and lots of trees and lots of vodka. I mean, don't they, like, hibernate in the winter? Bro, you just did exactly, precisely what I did. What did I do? It? Where did you do it at? I sent it directly to her. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I know everything's like ding, 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 and I'm trying to be all like, <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> no, no, I, just, uh, I, I saw a ding too, and I'm like, what's that? And then I realized, Jesus, do we have the exact same idea at the exact same time? That was awesome. <laughs> oh boy! Watched that together. We did we? Possibly. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty popular movie back in the day. It was pretty good. I'll have to. I'll watch that later. It, that that vampire musical from the end is the best fucking part, hands yeah, down. It was really good. <laughs> now, him singing it in the bar was the best part. <laughs> that and watching Russell Brand fucking London Bridge that chick. <laughs> uh. Well, be sure to give me their opening date, and I will do my best to to be there. Oh, yeah, I definitely appreciate that. 
I, I was going to do like a VIP showing. And I figured I'd invite you. And some others, not just you. That'd be weird. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> No, and if you need like an emergency bartender, I might be able to help you out. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, um, the, you know, I'm gonna do some, some, you know, vampire only things, and so on those nights, yeah, that would definitely be, yeah, helpful. On the on the human nights, it's probably not a good idea to that oh, bar, no. and especially if you have meters. Yeah, no, I, I we're working on getting enough uh, like human staff in, plus some you know very discreet vampires, just to kind of keep an eyeball on things and kind of collect the information I'm going to be collecting. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And with that, Sin will go order his drink and let somebody else walk in. All right, I'm going to walk in then. <laughs> um, do I uh want to walk in um is Destiny still around with uh Jessica and the Asian girl? Mhm. Mm yeah. All right, I see her out of the corner of my eye immediately and put in a bad mood and then I spot uh Patricia over at the bar, so I'm going to head to her. Mhm. Mm Arabella oh. and and Sin are also at the bar. Oh, lovely. Excellent. The whole crew. I, I knew Sid was there. I forgot Arabella was there, too, because apparently we all just forget Arabella. <laughs> it, that's uh, not true. I remembered her just as a different name. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia. Nadia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right. well, you know, can't all be winners, folks. Can't say I knew too much of Nadia. <laughs> right, you I only asked her to kill you. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I know. Like one time and then never seen again. <laughs> Anyways, I go over to the bar. Say hello to Patricia first. Hi, Patricia. How are you doing there? I'm good. Oh, you know what? Since you both are here, did you get my letter? I did. I am so sorry I didn't reply. Um... Honestly, I did try to get more information, um, but unfortunately, I, I wanted to talk to Bear, see if he can give me more information, but he wasn't available. And to be perfectly honest, um, with all the drama with Destiny, I don't remember um, how long it was that um, that the general was in charge. No, it wasn't that specific. I was wondering how long ago it was. How long ago he was? was. Yeah, funny. yeah. And I, you know, I thought it was forty years, but I wasn't sure. So I figured I'd just send that little letter out just to, yeah, kind of see. Sin, do you know? I had forty written down. Was that correct, <laughs> Thomas? <laughs> no. Was it? It is. Uh, it is a division of forty. If um, but. The he was deposed eight years ago. Oh, eight years. I was like, so <laughs> I didn't write it I down, know. so I didn't remember. Oh, well then. Yeah. Um, Sophia has only been prince for eight years. Hmm. Now he might have. He had been prince for forty. He'd been prince for 40 before he was deposed. Oh, oh maybe, maybe that's, that's, what, that's it was. Yeah. what it was. Okay. Yeah. Fixed in notebook. Yes. Yeah, beyond oh. that, I you know, I tried to ask some questions and stuff, and I, I truthfully, I just didn't get real far, so. Yeah. Well, and then I was busy, and uh, it's just. Oh, busy with what? Oh, working on the, the, the playhouse. I'm finishing up the, the scripts. 
Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, uh, I was just telling Sin all about the three plays that I got set up. Oh, really? Three? Wow. That yeah. is... Well, my thought was, is a lot of the people that are going to be coming are probably like tourists and maybe they're in town for two weekends. So I'd like stagger the shows. Understandable. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's just really do like a Friday and a Saturday thing. So are you going to be on stage? Well, of course. <laughs> oh, in fact, well, yeah. I'm going to be um, um, headlining the, uh, well, one of them is called Vote Roseanne Hatfield for Prom Queen, and I'm going to be playing Roseanne. <laughs> That's lovely. I'll have to go see all of them, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was telling Sim, I'm going to be doing a VIP thing, and I planned on inviting you guys. Oh, lovely. Like, soft opening. That's so nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I better get an invitation to that. Oh, of course. I'm still working on the fonts, as they say. I don't know if they say that, but I say that. Well, I suppose they say it now. Yeah. We'll make it a thing. We'll make it a thing. Absolutely. Um, Sid, what about you? How's everything been going with you? Oh, been pretty good. Been a relatively quiet week for me, to be honest. Oh, quiet is good. Means not a lot of trouble is happening. Do you... uh, Speaking of that, did you guys see Kriath over there? He looks particularly jolly tonight, and I don't know what that's about. Oh, jolly Kriath is not good news, typically. <laughs> Is he giggling? I think he's giggling. Mm-hmm. It started when Destiny arrived, so I can only imagine what he's giggling about. Uh, oh. Maybe he fed off somebody that was intoxicated. Mm-hmm. Or high. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe they cast mm-hmm. some spell on him. I mm-hmm. haven't quite worked up my courage to go over there yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. By the way, is Rena here? Uh, not at the moment. Damn. All right. Oh, go on. Oh, I just asked who. I thought you were asking me if she was here. I'm like, who the hell? Is that? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You... <laughs> I was asking, like, do I see her? Like, is she? <laughs> no, I don't expect you to know her, Patricia. <laughs> Another social faux pas. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, it's all right. Um, no, I myself have been very, very busy this week. Um, I'm actually in the process of opening up a nightclub. Oh yeah, you were talking about your strip club. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the my my little gentleman's club, my strip club. Um, uh, I put an offer on a location and it got accepted. So setting up the getting the permits now um just gotta you know make some changes to the building of course okay so hear me out have you considered instead of doing it as a, a you know a gentleman's nightclub doing it as a ladies nightclub mm, I, I mean they are under un, underrepresented there we go that's the word under you're not wrong but the th- the Fucking... reality the reality of it is i mean the strip club's really just a front to get blood so let go men men tend to be rather easily manipulated by naked women you know oh, well that is true sorry my cat was just stuck <laughs> to the side of my chair he's old and he can't retract his claws you brought your cat to the gathering oh wow. yeah dude uh, your pussy was just going nuts <laughs> It's just everywhere, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, we were talking about nightclubs. <laughs> and beavers. And beavers. And beavers. Uh, no, but you know what? I could always expand it. Um, perhaps make a, uh, a lesbian um, club, you know, you know, gay bar. Ooh, I could do a gay bar next. But, but I mean... Now, I mean, but with male dancers, I'm saying, mm, good like a uh, uh, ladies, yeah, like the Chippendales. That's a thing, right? <laughs> yeah, the Chippendales, exactly. Yeah, and I'm not talking about those cute little ones on Disney Channel. 
Gee, I didn't know you were someone who watches Disney Channel. <laughs> well, yeah, there's a lot of musicals. I mean, you're not wrong. That is true. <laughs> um, no, it's a good suggestion. Um, I just, I would feel bad taking blood from women, you know? I don't know. Like, I'm a woman. I just feel kind of bad taking advantage of other women like that. I don't mind taking advantage of men. I really don't. Uh, but I don't, you know? I mean, isn't the whole part of, like, the whole women's liberation is equal rights? So they're equally righted for dinner? <laughs> yeah, you just set the women's movement back, like, a hundred years. <laughs> you know what? All... Eating people, and I'm here for it, all right? Let's go. What? Is it, like, current year, by the way? Is it, like, 2024 <laughs> in the game? Yes, yeah. it is. Okay. I bite women. <laughs> I mean, women bite women, so... Oh yeah, women. I bite, bite men women. too. I <laughs> also this. true. People bite people. It happens. I'll think about it. It's it's, it's not just an fact. idea. You could do both. I mean, you don't have to make it exclusively one or the other. I was just thinking that I'm like, well, if I do more than one floor, I could have like one floor has you know the the male strippers and another floor has the female strippers. You know, you all could do a floor that had good. both. Yeah. So there's the bi people or the whatever, all happy. And you have choices. So you probably have a lot of very happy clientele, giving them choices as well as all of that entertainment. True. All right. Anyways. You, um, Thomas sees um, a myriad of people at the, the bar. Um, Destiny and his friend, uh, and Jessica, and uh, one of their friends is at a table, and Kriegoth is sitting in the back, still giggling, still giggling, very low under my breath. Oh boy! Sorry, hold it's on. Very. He's stuck on the elevator too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking kind of closed on him. We're just waiting for the open. It like comes. Eh, eh, eh. It just <laughs> keeps opening and closing and opening and closing. I used to have an elevator like that back in the day. At my old work, so literally I, would open and catch itself and go back. Said me and Jonathan are on the elevator. Yep. If you're coming in together, you are. I, yep. Okay. Yep. We're on the elevator, and I just. Yeah. S standing shoulder to shoulder, I guess. Yeah, I was able to go ahead and hand you the stuff that we was working on outside, and I made sure to leave my trench through it into my car window so it's in on my seat. Wearing my navy button up. Um, I'm going to leave my gun, though, in the car. I'm going to pull it out of my holster. I would recommend that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that's when we go and now we'll into the elevator. What do you think we're signing ourselves up for tonight, Jonathan? Honestly, I feel like it's going to be the same night I'm going to see those doors open and that dull blank face <laughs> on those. Like it gets me. Gets me every time I stare at her. Speaking of Iris, yes, <laughs> I find her entrancing. Entrancing in the way of trying to keep eyes connected. Well, I've accumulated a lot of people with interesting quirks as of late, so dealing with her is just another walk in the park for me, so to speak. I'm hoping I'm the less of the few. No, oh, you were right up there Cigarette. with the rest of them, Jonathan. <laughs> I pat you on the back. <laughs> the, the Did door you walk? Opens up. You yeah. Walk yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, actually, before the door opens up, are you going to consort or are you going to stay off by yourself? 
I think I might have to talk to Emery. Well, I do Try not envy you the there. What's going on? Enjoy it. I will be playing Band Aid tonight. Understood. All right. And doors open? Yes, no? Or are they, they, uh, they'd open it. Like, I don't know. We're going to go over there. I was like, you go up, you go down, down you go up. Up. The doors close, <laughs> and then we're like, oh, shit, press the button. I'm and then gonna... they open, but we talk oh again. My gosh. <laughs> like we're not done yet. elevators become a character. Yeah. Um, I will go try to find Dustin. All right. You walk in, and Dustin uh, and Sin is at the, the bar. Along no, with Patricia. I'm trying to find Emery. Dustin. Oh, you're okay. Yeah, come on. Um, man. It's Saya. <laughs> oh, like his daddy, my maker. <laughs> Your maker. My blood daddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, he's daddy sitting across Dustin. the room. Okay. Yeah, I'll go over to Daddy Dustin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy Dustin is done with a man. He just tossed him out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> It just sounds like Daddy Dustin is spanking somebody really hard. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm mommy <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> this, and we, you said we see Kriegoth giggling in the corner. Yeah, he's got a really weird look on his face. I think we share a look with each other as we see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like, <laughs> You see you his and glowing Thomas. red eyes. You, you and Thomas are you and Kriga? What is that you're starting to look with? Nadie, <laughs> 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 were you sharing the look with Kriga or Thomas? <laughs> I was thinking with Thomas, like as soon as we walk out, and you said we both hear them, like hear him giggling. That's what we see. I was like thinking it was this moment, of just like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was expecting a lot of things. You were expecting him to pay attention to you. He's not. He was trying to share a look with you. I shared a look with him, and then you had to ask him. <laughs> yeah, I think we both made a look at the exact same time, and then you were inquiring as to who he was making the look to. I okay. knew what he was talking about. Me and Nate are on the same like, page. Like Me and Jonathan got it. All right. I'm giving you the destiny hand. Talk, talk, talk. Trust me, I've been given the got get dad. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> I knew where it was going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been given yeah. quite the hand. Oh, good you know one. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do good. I'm trying to do good. good. All right, well, I, I hang my head even lower than before, walking towards Daddy Dustin. <laughs> God. Not that. Oh my gosh, Siobhan. Uh. <laughs> What are you wearing as you walk to oh! Daddy Dustin? I'm wearing my typical garb, my trench coat, my black shirt, black it's pants. That shirt. Yeah, my elegant <laughs> yellow suede shoes. Yeah. Just, I look like I'm I'm trying not to be seen at nighttime. I, I'm as in the darkest garb I could find. I'll definitely watch you walk over to your That's daddy fine. dustin i'm not I looking also... around the room i'm just walking towards daddy daddy my daddy <laughs> he walks over to a gentleman who's about about six foot tall um has a a beard and a mustache um kind of reminds you of I thought you were going to say Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Um, copyright, dude. Copyright. Um, <laughs> he's, a, he's dressed up really well. He's in a really nice suit. Um, if anyone has any etiquette or anything, they'd know he's wearing Gucci. Um, I think I have etiquette. And I do. You would. In any kind of fashion sense or whatever. Yep, I then, have yeah. Too. Yeah, he's wearing like a, a three piece suit, uh, a nice little vest underneath it. Um, it's like dark gray with a, a dark blue tie. 
Um, this is and my, my I maker. I also have Atticut. My maker yes. wearing this? So oh. is, is he dressed up more than usual? Uh, he's dressed up real nice, just like he came from work. Okay. And... Now I'm eyeballing your maker. That's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> he's my maker he has for a poor reason. Appearance. He, looks, he looks real nice. Four-piece suit? Yep. And I walk over. He goes, okay. and you're, yeah. you're slumped over, and he's like, Thomas, what's wrong? I yelled at Julian. And I don't even look at him when I say that. He just looks at you and goes, what did he do? He put me in my place. Rightly so, as I was... um little too overzealous in my accusations and not using the greater foresight to see his actions for what they were. And I, um, I don't know how to go from here. It was not a good conversation. Well, um, you can always apologize and offer some sort of a sort of way to make an amends. I will not offer that man a boon. I didn't say offer the man a boon. I said apologize and, you know, you know, offering something. And, and a boon is really only a common knowledge. You guys would know that a boon is something that is like a serious thing that you owe somebody for, like, that's something major that's how, goes down. That's how deeply I feel like I fucked up. Like, I feel okay. it's boon-worthy. Um, I mean, if that's how you feel, then yeah. then go report it to the Harpy. What? Why would I involve Felix? It's the Harpy records all boons. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have that in my notes. Um, no, I, if I don't, if I don't feel, I will not give him one, but that is how badly I feel I've spoken out of turn. What well, first gift? of all, apologize to him. Yes, I understand that. You've said it three times. <laughs> um, I don't don't go yelling at me because I'm not, I'll. I'm, I'm, it's been it's been a very trying week, and I've let emotions get the better of me. I'm not trying to take it off out on you. I'm coming to you for advice. I understand my my words and my attitude don't reflect that. I apologize, Daddy Dustin. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> Honestly, feel you. <laughs> he just looks at you. <laughs> because I know you're you're taking um sarcastic you know, tone with me. Um but maybe put that aside for a second. And, you know, think of Think of what you can do to, to improve the situation. What would you do to improve the situation? Upsetting a primogen. Well, first of all... Outside of apologizing. Discussion. Sorry, go ahead. Have a discussion. Um, and, you know... Let him know your reasons for why you did it. You know, motive goes a long way. Um, especially with Julian, uh, he's all about clan and assisting uh, anyone in clan best as he possibly can. Um, and you know, move forward from there. Thomas takes a deep breath and exhales and says, fine, you haven't failed me with your wisdom yet. And I assume you wouldn't leave your progeny in the dark so I will go and apologize to yet another person that you suggest I apologize to and I appreciate your advice well, you're welcome and I look up at you and extend hand and shake friendship things Thomas my name talk <laughs> <laughs> goes and shakes with you too. This is the destiny, man. Um, all right, and then I, will, <laughs> I, will, I will go. I will go find Julian. Is Julian here? 
Uh, Julian is not here at the moment. Well, all right then. Then uh, I don't know. I will ask. Oh, rats! Yeah, I, was, I will have asked us <laughs> oh, that, and then I will peruse the room, and I will see the normal, the usual suspects over at the bar, and we probably wave. just shake my head, and then go find <laughs> Destiny, and go sit with her, and see that she has a new friend with her. She does. Go ahead, Nate. I think I'm going to go ahead and over to the bar. A little held myself up. Going to go and get my own type of whiskey. And going to lock eyes with Emery. Anything new? Fortunately, Bear was unavailable this week. And I wasn't able to get any new information from him. How about you? Not too much, I can say. Um, I'm looking further into it. Some other things came up into my evidence pool, and I'm starting to try to piece two things together. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, thank you. Um, keep me posted, and of course, once I get any new information, I'll pass that along to you. And same to you. I'm good. And if either of you need anything, I'll be here too. Hello, Patricia. <laughs> Hi. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, of course. It was telling well, everything us about right. the angry beaver play. No, I want to hear, drops his I wanna hear more about the beaver play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's not about an angry beaver. It's just the big old beaver. The story of the Missouri Fur Company. It's about, you know, trapping and getting the biggest beaver and shaving yeah. the beavers. And you still it's kind of funny. Jonathan, I'd ask you if you want something stronger, but it really doesn't make a difference. I think we've got the best of it. Speaking of drinks, actually, Sin, how's your drink coming along? Mine's quite well. Really? Sipping for my flask. Yes. Let me try it out. Do you want to try my drink? Well, the drink you've been working on, your special blood. Special blood. No, this isn't that. Well, I think that's what she was asking you about. Do you want to know how it's coming? <laughs> yes. Have you made any uh, progress with your special drink there, your your blood? Have you found your wizard lizard yet? I have not. Uh, I've been well, quite busy. I've not searched for a wizard lizard. What you do, I'll tell you. You let me try it before. Of course. Oh, but now that it's better, you won't <laughs> let anybody try it? Does it You're that. stingy. So stingy. No. Trust me, you wouldn't want to try it. Oh. That bad? Well, it is phenomenal to start, and then after about a minute, it... It doesn't go well on the stomach, and still working out kinks. Oh. But again, well... as soon as you find your wizard lizard, I'll let you in. All right, Patricia, I guess we're going to have to find a wizard lizard. I, well, yeah, I thought he already had one, and he was just looking for another one. No. Yeah, I guess we, he needs a second. Oh. Huh. Larry the wizard lizard. Um, I'll be, like, looking over at Destiny and Thomas and seeing them talking, and I'll look at Emery and go, just so you know, I'm getting a lot of buzz around other groups that those two are spreading things about you just so you're aware and i don't know about the new esther girl i just met her didn't get a vibe off but i know for a fact that thomas and destiny are spreading things about you emory yes oh, why well, would he ever do that i know destiny is spreading quite a few things oh yes she's thomas. quite vocal about it 
as his nose well, stuck up her ass, so. I don't know so much Thomas, more so Thomas just saying things Destiny has said. I'll say that. Thomas is infuriating <laughs> when it comes to Destiny because he just kind of goes along with whatever the hell she says despite her being a major fucking bitch. Speaking of which, Jonathan, you've gotten quite chummy with Thomas. What the fuck is his deal with Destiny anyways? I don't think I warrant that kind of language, but I will admit he's a businessman. He sees his eyes on the prize and knows how to get it. Well, he's a stupid fucking businessman, apparently, to get involved with someone like her. I swear. Of all the fucking morons here, just... I'm gonna take a Maybe really don't deep... think too much about what she looks like or what she's capable of, but what she has. Maybe that's oh. where your answers will lie. Tell me, because I don't know that much about Destiny, other than the fact that every time I go near her, I get this horrible feeling. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. Just, Do you have, have you ever walked her? into a room and felt like you have to get out of there? Like, like, like you're just in, just something is wrong. You can't put your finger on it, but just something is wrong. And you have to get out. That is the feeling destiny gives me. So what does I she think, have then? I think as soon as you just said being in a room and knowing that you need to get out. He goes back in his mind about 30 years ago, and I think... I think that would create a little bit of an episode in his head. What do you mean by that? No, I'm saying like how he's kind of reacting that the hysteria would probably hit him. Um, oh, okay. I see. Roll it. Yeah. Roll that beautiful bean <laughs> <meme> footage. <laughs> if you feel like it's going to hit you, then make a roll for it. See if it does. Yeah, I I feel like it would be something that would definitely twist. Uh, you you need two sixes or better not to to fall to the hysteria. Okay. But and I that's want going to, fall to be to the hysteria. It, do you? <laughs> I mean, I, he, might, he might can make that happen for you. All right. All right. And you said that because it's my history, it's my mental stuff, right? Yes, it's going to be your uh, wits. Wits and empathy. So just three, okay. Oh, that's a nine. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Right? Two tens and a nine. You are good. I I still think something hits him a little bit when you say that feeling, and you would notice this gesture of him pulling on the harness of where his gun used to be. And I don't think he responds to it. He thinks about it. He remembers... He remembers what he called out, and he flashes a moment and says, Destiny's a cruel bitch, indeed. Yeah, yeah. she is. You all right no. there? Yeah, why do you ask? Nothing, just, just check it in, is all. Seemed for a moment like you weren't quite here. I typically, I have a lot of things I do, and it's always working on the back burner. I just tend to look at to make sure no house fire starts. Understandable. It is the face a man makes when he multitasks. <laughs> Sin gets it. Yes. Understandable. <laughs> Krigov, you feel yourself coming down from your laughter high, 
and it's you just feel ugh, like just I don't know the tired and a little just icky like you just come off of a three day um bender a little hungover well I've been there um I knew you would. <laughs> yeah. We're all so surprised. <laughs> no, you're not. This is my surprise face. <laughs> it's a pretty good one, Tom. Uh, that's, that's how you're feeling right about now. I just kind of shake my head a little bit. I'm like... Take a second to, like, regain my, like, composure. And then I'm like... It must be her smell. Ugh. Um, I'm going to walk over to the bar and say hello to everyone. Hello, group. How you doing? Very hello, cautious. Very cautiously go hello, and like look him up and down. How y'all doing tonight? Good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm better now. Yeah. You seemed real happy. Oh, I was. You ever uh, imagine what an amusement park is like? No. No. I I've mean, to well, take a second and think about it. Now imagine every ride is murdering someone in new yeah. and creative ways. And you then didn't murder I'm... anyone, did you? No, not today. But I've been thinking about it for a while. You know, you know about you know about amusement parks, and you don't have knowledge of cell phones. No, <laughs> no, not the old style ones, the kind they built in like Japan or in China. In Japan or in China? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the ones that they built here because you know that place is like thirty years behind us in 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 some areas. So like, yeah. Old ones, not new ones. Ah, yes, the antiquated amusement parks, my favorite. Ah, uh, yeah. yes, China, so behind on the times. <laughs> at, at one point, that was extraordinarily true. Their industrial revolution didn't take place until the mid 1900s. You need to get oh. out more, Kriast. 2024. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm saying our industrial revolution happened in the 1800s. Theirs has just happened. Yes, they were a little behind the times. I was there for a very long time. I think I'd know better than you. They invented paper. They invented fireworks. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that their amusement park technology was up to the snuff of American amusement park technology, and I will fight you about this, okay? No fucking possibility. We are really having this conversation here. Yeah. We're I don't know. That wasn't even freak off. That was me. I didn't even. I stopped role playing for a second there because listen here. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it's lovely to see you all tonight. Amusement park. Murder. Yeah, I was contemplating killing someone. Anyway, um,. What's going on? Uh, oh, oh, uh, come not on. A whole lot. We're just chit chatting about Patricia's playhouse and her, her beaver play. Or chatting. Whatever. Finally got it up and running, eh? Well, not quite. I'm just finishing up the, the, the skits, the plays that I'm going to be performing. Well, I'm happy you didn't need to use that uh, tip I gave you. Yeah, no, so far I've been good. Um yeah. Just just finishing it up and once we get that done then then I'm gonna throw a VIP party and you know, invite you guys and it'll be a good time. You're going to invite me? Really? Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I? Most people don't. You have to understand <laughs> that uh my entire clan is not treated very well. And well, looked down on uh, 
quite a bit. So uh, most people wouldn't invite me. So I appreciate you. Thank you. I was I I I believe that my judgment to give you that tip was the right judgment. You're you're a nice person. Thank you. You know I try to be inclusive. Well, you succeed. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank yeah, just like you're trying to make my strip club inclusive. Well, I mean, well, it was just a suggestion. What, 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 I should stop what, giving suggestions. No, it's no fine. Suggestion. I, love I didn't hear it. What is this strip club? Is this the one that you talked about last time, saying that you're building your own? Established. Yeah. So, so what was your suggestion? I didn't uh, get to hear it. Oh, just not having just female strippers, but you know, some mm. inclusive in, in, uh, inclusivity. Yeah, that's the word. Inclusivity. I agree. I think it would be good to have both. Yeah. I'll well, I'll tell in. you what. Send me some male human strippers, and I'll find a place for them in my strip club. Oh, I can get them to you easily. Mm. Um, oh, what was that scene? Come on, I'll volunteer. Sorry, Sid, I didn't hear you. Kriegoth is talking over you. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you at all, Dustin. <laughs> My apologies. Sid, send points to Jonathan. <laughs> oh, Jonathan, you are a stripper? Or you know a stripper? <laughs> what? I mean, no. if you want a job... I would be happy to give you one. I plenty have enough on my plate as it is than to become a Chippendale. Well, I figured you'd know be an investigator, you would you would know people, you know. Can't say I've oh. ever had my eyes on some men. So you only um, investigate women? No, I'm just <laughs> saying I don't investigate and only look for sexually pleasing men but speaking of which where where'd you find the money to find this establishment is this wealth you've always had or is this wealth you just came across that's on a need to know basis i have my connections and i have my ways of procuring what i need it's understandable somebody wants maybe to we'll talk about it more when we go and investigate things Yes. Somebody once said, if you've got it, flaunt it. I look up at Kriga. Indeed. I look down at Jonathan. Hello. I need the wizard lizard to make money. Uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's something that you shouldn't be ashamed of if you have it. <sighs> anyway. Have any of you guys made any headway with the uh, research about the general? Absolutely not. <laughs> I admit I have seemed to hit a wall. I did. Uh, I did try to reach out to some friends and see if they could find anything, and I haven't heard back yet. But I'm hoping to uncover something, as I, I would like to. Out to. I had um, a brilliant idea, but it it didn't pan out, so here we some, are. Uh, some contacts of mine, you know. Nobody in the, in the, in the, uh, any of the clans, just somebody I know. Um, interestingly enough, though, uh, they normally have very quick returns, so the fact that it's taking them this long to get back with anything is troubling. Oh. From my perspective, normally they're quite adept. Did you get your request in by Tuesday? Uh, I put it in immediately at the end of the last Elysium. Oh. Hmm. So I went to waste no time. As I'm trying to fulfill one of Julian's boons, I would like to uh, be able to do that as soon as possible. So, gotcha. I'm gonna be yeah. putting all my feelers out. He asked a boon of you. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I believe he has two. You he did not ask. He him. did not ask a boon of him. No. I thought he asked he has, me specifically. He, you owe him yeah. two boons, and he asked you to a. He said that if you could come up with information, then he would release one of those boons. Well, 
Is that not the same thing as, like, calling one in? Well, yeah, but the way you said it makes it sound like he like owes you one. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to make I it sound like the moon. Yeah, I think that's why he was confused. Yeah, no, I didn't mean to say it like that. I just, uh, I, I meant that I owe him two, and I would like for that not to be the case. So, and I would also like to give him some decent information so that he feels like he's got something for, you know, the help that he gave. So, well, I feel it's only right you to repay it. Assistance, let me know, Krigoff. I mean, like I said, if any of y'all hear anything, any piece of information, no matter how trivial, uh, I would absolutely love to have it. I've been... Uh, Is it only specifically on the general? Well, I mean, anything to do with him or his, like, I don't know... Uh, uh, Blackies? Click in crowd. I don't know what the right terminology is, but his yeah, lackeys. Maybe that's a good yeah. Anybody associated with him? Uh, yeah, anything. I'll take anything. Um, and uh, I'll absolutely repay it in kind if I ever have any information that would you're looking for help with. Please don't hesitate to ask. All right. To do them. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Sincerely. Uh. Anyway, I see my drink is empty, and uh, I'm feeling kind of. Eh. So I think I'm going to uh, just go ahead and chill at my table for the rest of the evening. If anyone wants anything from me, you'll know where I'll be. And with that, I order another beverage and back to my table. I turn over my shoulder and check in on Thomas and prepare to walk over if need be. Well, I was on my way to talk to Destiny. You get to the table with Destiny. Good evening, Destiny. How do you do today, tonight? Thomas, <laughs> my dear, how are you? Sit down, sit down. I'd be more than happy to. No seats are taken or spoken for. No, I mean, there's six seats at this table and three of them are taken. Wonderful. Who's your friends? Um, you've met Jessica. Ah, yes, um, Jessica. Nice, and to, nice to see you again. And this is Esther. Esther, I have not seen you before, I believe. <clears throat> She looks and says, I don't get out much. That's a shame. Why's that? Because I'm usually doing the grunt work. <laughs> well, you're in fabulous company. Yes. Yes. Thank you. No problem. What's on the docket for tonight, ladies? Oh, we're just... Destiny says, we're just sitting around and... <sighs> Kriyoff, he was so weird earlier. He just started laughing. It was weird. I would like to I su- just, Sorry, go ahead. I just don't understand him. I'd like to say like I was... He... <laughs> sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> Let him talk. I thought he was done. It was a natural pause. Go ahead. <laughs> she stops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say I was surprised by the mannerisms of Kriegoth, but nothing he do surprises me anymore. She goes, oh, I know. She goes, he's just so weird. Oh, well, there are those that say that you are weird. And they are wrong, of course. She says, well, I mean, true. <laughs> But I try not to show mine in public. No, I completely agree. And I look at Jessica and Nestor and say, I'm sorry that you've had to have dealings with Kriegoth. I'm sure you've heard the scuttlebutt about him, Esther. She goes, yeah, he's the, he killed the priest, right? Ah, uh, yes. Well, no need to yeah. go deeper than that. Um, and how do you know each other? Oh, um... We met it a few years ago, and, you know, I just, 
enjoy the company. And who could blame you? She just, um, Destiny kind of just blushes. She's like, she likes it when people gush upon her. Are we making any uh, proclamations again this week, Destiny, or staying with what we discussed last week? Um, we're going to stay with what we discussed with last week. Wonderful. I will have to tell you that it seems that I have caught the eye of another one of the kindred. I can only assume that won't be an issue for you, but I figured I'd bring it to your attention first, as Arabella has been closer than most of late. I mean, you've got to keep your avenues open, Thomas. I understand. I just don't want to besmirch you in any way with what we had discussed. I don't know what your plans are or anything. She seemed... She she came over earlier and she seemed very pleasant. She is definitely one of a kind. I mean, she brought me this drink and everything. She just she's fantastic. Just a lovely girl. Yes, outside of her, her consorting with Emery, there's not a bad thing I could say about her, even though she would probably say otherwise. I mean, we're we're all entitled to. To make our own mistakes. I mean, I'm not going to hold that against her. It's good that you can be open-minded. And, uh, Esther, are we going to be seeing more of you? Mm, she looks at you and she goes, It just depends on what, um, what happens at the, at, at the Chantry. Um... I'm hoping for a promotion which will open me up for more gatherings to be able to, to come out more and do things of my own. Oh, well, is there anything that we can do to help you? And I you know, point no, my hand to Destiny and Jessica. She goes, unfortunately, no. This is all inner clan business. You understand that. You venture are very tight, right? Of course, but there's nothing wrong with asking for the aid of others. We're not above that. Oh, no. No, no, not in, not with the Tremere. Because we have to do, we have to to accomplish our goals by ourselves. Even if it seemed like you came up with these discoveries naturally. Well, I mean, you can't really help me with my magic, so yeah, I kind of have to do this myself. I guess no, magic is way beyond Ooh, my aptitude. Burn. I I humbly. Uh, apologize for assuming I could even assist in something like that. No, it's okay. You know, a lot of people don't understand the inner workings of my clan, and you know, so they don't, so they don't really understand. It's unless you're a part of it, you 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 can't really know for sure. Outside of learning about the Shamir, if there's anything you could teach me about magic, as just in a intellectual sense, not practicality. I'd more than appreciate it. Um, we take oaths against any kind of discussion of magic. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. Not, not to be all. rude. No, it, quite all right. If anybody can respect clan values, as you mentioned, it's the Ventru. Um, and Jessica, I apologize. How was your week? She said, my week was fine. She goes, um, we're just, you know, everybody's on high alert, trying to, Bear's got everybody working nonstop. That's true, and I assume nobody has darkened your steps in the night? No one's darkened mine, no. And I give Destiny a little bit of a nod. Well then, that's... Good to catch up and to make sure everybody's safe and sound in these trying times. Indeed, Thomas, indeed. And um, I'll bow and peace out. Have a good night, Thomas. Thank you, Destiny. Says. Dinner soon. Of course. Wonderful. Call me. Oh, I will. <laughs> As as I will call any of you, <laughs> like if you ever need, 
Yes, yeah, so if you ever need me. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe the four of us could go out some. Uh, three of us. Yeah, four of us could go out sometime. That is hard. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Destiny, did you hear that Emery called you a bitch? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Emery! I hear that, I throw my no, shoe I don't, at I don't hear that at all. Um, I and know, then I will I... go over to Kriegar <laughs> after a little bit of, like, circling around. I see Thomas approach, and I give him a nod. Hello. What is it going to take for you to leave Destiny alone? When you say alone, do you mean in pieces all over the city? Or do you mean, like, don't talk to her anymore? I just think it would benefit the both of us if you simply left her alone. I think it would benefit that uh, person to do two things. First, keep my name out of her mouth. And second... If she wants to keep her mouth where it's at, ignore me entirely. So however, oh, 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 good ultimatum. Go ahead. No, no, no ultimatum. <laughs> on, on a separate subject, uh, have you learned anything uh, new about uh, our uh, time gazing at the stars? Outside of her watching me, no. Yourself. I have not. Uh, I, I I admit that the uh, announcement about the general has taken all of my interest as Julian has asked me to look into it personally. Yes, and I thought we so, agreed that you were going to confront her to gauge. And I assume by your query that you have not done what we had discussed. Uh, no, not yet. I just wanted to double check with you um, exactly how much of what we discussed am I supposed to let her know I know. That's up for you to decide, Kriegoth. I thought you were going to handle this side of things, but oh, apparently to... if you're not going to be reliable... Uh, excuse me, I intend to this evening. All right, well, it didn't seem like it sounded like you intended to do anything since you had to double no, check no, with me. I just... Uh, I just felt like it would be best to speak with you about it first. Well, if you are going to speak to certain people about certain things, I suggest not messing with those above you beforehand. And I nod over to Destiny. Again, I think it would be in both our best interests to just I leave her deeply. be. Yes. Uh, I, 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 and, and I look down at you, and I'm like, Thomas, no one's above me. Please. It's that type of arrogance that's gotten us where we are, Kriegoth. You at least put no, no, it no. back. No, no, no. That's not arrogant. That's just bad. I am very tall. No one's above me. I think, Jonathan, when he saw you leave Destiny, he would have been in the mid of going over to you, but as soon as he saw that interaction, he just stayed like a table away. Okay. Well, well I definitely um, noticed that. Anyway. I, I would appreciate you accomplishing this task tonight so I can know and make plans for the future. Oh, once it's done, I will text you or call you as your preference demands. I think the less electronic Um, communication we have, the better. Okay, well, if you you want, you could meet me at the, I don't know, sewer entrance at the building down below at the end of the evening. And uh, I will tell you what I found out. Very well. Also, uh, I, I encourage you, if you value Destiny as a friend, for some reason I can't even begin to fathom, uh, you encourage her to genuinely stop talking about me. God. <laughs> you are the last person to lecture me about the company that I keep. <laughs> uh, no, no, absolutely And I walk not. away, fact, I walk away laughing that he's lecturing me about the company the that I you keep. <laughs> company you keep. And it's precisely the lecture you need. Uh, no, I'm, I'm gone, boss. Just laughing to myself. I can, Jonathan, you can hear me saying that. Dustin, you can probably hear me laughing, walking away laughing saying that. But yeah, that's probably the first time Thomas has laughed this entire game. 
<laughs> I would uh, finish my drink and then head out to the balcony. Just walk out. All right. Are you walking by anybody particular, or are you just going out there to to hang? Uh, I'm just going to go out there to hang for a bit. Okay. I guess I'd walk pr- past wherever Thomas was walking past, and then go out. <laughs> no, I have to. All right. Walk by. Walk by Thomas. Do I say it? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I'm laughing. But I, you know, we, we will connect eyes, and I will know. <laughs> I will follow that you are walking out the room. I'm not going to chase you just yet, but I'll give you a nod, like the slightest of nods. I smirk and go outside. It's a beautiful evening outside. Almost cloudless. Moon is almost full. This is the night. <laughs> Do we try to no, not. <laughs> For she's the night. And they call it night. Bella Notte. Now, now go out there, Cree Gotham. We were. <laughs> we'll get right on top of that. Watch no. that. It's my wife. <laughs> Careful. No, 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 no. Let's hear what he has to say. Jeez. <laughs> I'm going to go out there and just be like, Hi. Oh, how are you doing this evening? <laughs> After the creepy, <laughs> After the creepy so laughing. Pretty. It's so <laughs> glorious to see someone built like you. Oh, oh my. God. I am feeling frisky after this interesting evening. Shall we adjourn? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was too cheesy. Oh, I'm too cheesy. I walked out to the balcony. It smells like sex out here. It still does. It smells like freaking Tijuana. It smells like Velveeta. That's the cheesiest, man. <laughs> oh cheesiest. my god. You gotta keep it interesting, you know? That's the way to do it, right? I'm fucking empty as get this. Is that how you do it? Yeah, yeah. You look, man. People can be serious all the time. You gotta keep it lighthearted, otherwise the reality's gonna break you. That's just how I feel about it. At well, least that's how I feel for, about reality, anyway. You know? Gotta keep it, gotta keep it light and interesting. Did you need something, Jonathan? I was coming to check on your situation with Destiny, but it seems like you ran into a different type of pillar of interest. There are never any <laughs> situations with Destiny. She is a very wonderful and entran- enchanting woman. From my table, I said, don't lie. You're outside on the... I was just... Here. Yeah, I was just got saying. On the other hand... Just needs to better refine his mannerisms. <laughs> Plus, he has yet to discuss situations with interested parties. You, I don't know if that was too much code for you, but Jonathan should know what I'm talking about. If not, I'll message it to him so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he... Me and him had a little bit of a discussion about him having a couple boons that he would like off his chest. Well, there's only one way to do that, and he's not doing the correct things to do it. Yeah. I think he's just relying on good information. Information you can rely on. Um, that's why I told him to stop pissing off Destiny, because it's not getting him anywhere. And to more focus himself on the tasks at hand. And, of course, he told me that he will mess with whoever he wants, whenever he wants. So, his reliability is standard, unchanged. He doesn't take this seriously enough as he should. 
None of them do. Not even Sin. I don't tend to like the masquerade. Purely for this reason. Oh, People oh. forget the jobs they're placed and think about just what they want to do and not what needs to be done. That's why I kind of butt out of it. That's why you need to be more involved in it, Jonathan. The only one who's going to make this a ragtag group of... I don't even know what you would call a circus performers do anything is if me and you get in front of it and guide the ship. Will you guide the ship with me, Jonathan? <laughs> I'm just imagining the fucking... Just tell me where it. the whips are stored. <laughs> you what? <laughs> What's that? That's all I could you picture was the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> I think they said you boys were gonna fail! Now turn around and let me pick you up and show <laughs> you to the, the masquerade. masquerade. What did you say, Nate? Yeah, it's Trigon standing behind you. No way. I'll get it out of their system for a second. Trigon, let, let him speak. <laughs> Alright. So I just say you tell me where the whips are stored and I shall be your lion tamer. Don't tell Ar Arabella about the whips. I've heard they and chains excite her. That was a joke, Jonathan. <laughs> we'll get there. Eventually. Yes. I believe we will. I appreciate you checking up on me, though. You're a good man. You're the best Balkamian man that I've seen. I look over at the the doll <laughs> sitting in there. I'm like, the doll, the um, iris. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now I like to look at the doll, and I'm like, <laughs> like, did you develop another issue? <laughs> you see, mom, he likes me. Oh, oh never mind. If you don't mind, <laughs> I have some other business to attend to, and I'll see you to it. And I will go walk out towards the balcony. Anybody else want to talk? No, you're doing really good. Okay, good. <laughs> Here we go. Right. I want to see where this goes. Hi, I'm waiting for you to pile, the, you like the, pile the ship. <laughs> Yeah, what are we supposed to do? We're just the circus people. I, mean, just... I said we, not me. I, I I kept myself in there. We are circus performers. Mm -hmm. I didn't say I didn't single <laughs> anybody out. I'm right. Good evening, Arabella. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Oh. Sorry. Well, Almost threw up. How many people did you use that line on tonight? No one living. I like that line. <laughs> no one here is alive. But you are alive in my heart. Oh, gosh. Are you sure Destiny's not alive in yours? Yes, I've already talked to her about that, and she's fine with me fraternizing with you. Fraternizing? Thomas realizes he probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> You have such a way with words, I tell you. I haven't experienced a relationship since I was turned. I'm new to this. You haven't been able to notice my <laughs> interests lie in more prominent topics, not matters of... I'm just not good at this. Can't even there speak. There you go. Correct that, correct that course. <laughs> Relax. Guide that ship. I'm trying to guide a ship here, Arabella. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the iceberg! It's just ahead! <laughs> Relax yourself, Thomas, and one thing you could probably do is be nice to me in front of people, not just when we're alone on a balcony. Well, then come out Fun with fact, me well, the well home screen was to showcase how nice I can be. Dear God, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you, we're not going to oh, go no, from one no, extreme to go. another. Come on. No, no, we're not going to jump from one extreme to another. 
Yeah. Come, Arabelle. Let me prove myself world. to you. Let's go. Do you trust me? Oh, God. Oh, God. oh gosh. Oh, uh, fuck I'll, yes. take, I'll just, I'll just take your hand. Do you trust me? <laughs> yes. And I'll God. pull her into the... <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Dustin DJs my conversation. Close your eyes. And I will walk Patricia or F. Well. <laughs> oh, really? I will walk Arabella over to Sin. Bummer. Say my name, bitch. Say my name. Bummer. Quit acting kind of shady. You know what that gave? That gave like it a, you said Aaron the wrong name. When Ross <laughs> said Rachel instead of Emily at the altar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do, I, do I go up there? I'll take thee, Patricia. <laughs> Have you seen her in that hat? <laughs> yeah. Look at the hat. <laughs> I will take Arabella inside and go to Sin and say, Sin, have you met Arabella? Yes. yes, I have. Isn't she beautiful tonight, Sin? She is quite lovely. Yes, she's very lovely, and I am very honored that she has accepted my proposal for courtship. Oh, she's definitely an upgrade. Nobody's talking to you, Emery. Um, oh, you didn't specify. That's good. Get the back <laughs> on the ship, Emery. My, like, Who told cheeks you definitely flush red. <laughs> Who told you about the ship? Oh, yeah, my cheeks flush red, and I'm just, like, just smiling, like... Do you have any issues with me consorting in romantic relationships outside of our clan, Sin? No, I am not your maker. That is a good point. Arabelle, come meet my maker. His name is... Oh, Daddy. They His name is just, Daddy okay. Dustin. <laughs> Oh, his wow. name is Daddy Dustin? Yes, and you will address him as so. Oh, okay. Fix your hat, please. What kind of fucking fan fiction did I just walk I'm not wearing a hat. What? So I don't know hair. about you, but I'm all for this. I'm balls. <laughs> but I'm not wearing oh, that. Okay. I'm not for sure. <laughs> I'm so invested. All right, and I'll take her over to meet Dustin. Daddy Dustin. Poor Thomas. Just... Now you're so role playing this, too. <laughs> So he sees you walking over, and he just he's looking as you come walking over. I have decided to take on courtship with a bruja. <laughs> he just looks at you just like any bruja right out there. Daddy, just... I love her. <laughs> Do you object? He holds his hand out. He goes, "It's nice to see you again, Arabella." It's nice to see you too. I didn't realize that. So you two have already met. I didn't know that he was your. Sire. Did you know that she was the woman that I had my eye fixed on? No, we we met once or twice at a party. Mm. Mm -hmm. Got weird. And this is the first I'm hearing of this. I'm looking at you, Arabella. I didn't know he was your sire. Mm. Literally have met him at a party or two. I've been to many, 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 many parties. I'm so glad to hear that you go to many parties. This is a great way to start things off. But, but if you, with your blessing, Daddy Dustin, I would like to court this Fuha. If you, you could just, me, you, you could just my say permission. my name. You could just say my name. You, you are, are not good at this. Fuha. <laughs> Do you accept my proposal? You said you don't need his permission. I didn't hear him say. <laughs> you said that. Yeah, I did. I said you do not need my permission. Then wonderful. What you choose to do with with your time is fine. I mean, she's a lovely lady, and you would be lucky. I would be. You are correct. We will find that out, I suppose. Arabella, come meet Destiny. I know Destiny, but okay. I must show you around the masquerade, right? Because I don't treat you the same way in front of everybody else. All I said that. was to be nice. I didn't say parade me around like a fucking show dog. I, I, I was starting to see the leash a little bit. 
Perhaps this was. I'm wrong. just watching all this from the bar. Woman, <laughs> to come. Yeah, I think I think it was like watch them from the window, leave, go over to his daddy Dustin, and then like back over to Dustin. I'm just like. So there was... Oh, I was just like fuming about Destiny, so I didn't even notice they were on the balcony, and then they just showed up at the bar. There was no need to make this a formal request. I didn't for inner clan relations. Or should I have gone to Felix? I don't need to go to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Common sense oh. says this is not something that means. <laughs> now you tell me. Just just like... Grow a set and just do it yourself. All right. right. Either commit or don't. Thomas, Thomas feeling completely Sounds like embarrassed my first by his actions and, uh, you know, like a complete tool for the way he's handled this because he doesn't know how to handle the relationships. Being that he hasn't been in one since his entire time of being dead, um, I, just, I start to walk out. I just grab your hand. I'm like, we can probably not go. before you died either. I was married <laughs> when I was dead, and I had a son. I mean, who that had was a, probably a strange who thing. had a necklace that his mother had given him from birth. Eh, you don't know the son's yours. I mean, oh, that's good. So I can't even have a real son in, re in fake life. <laughs> fake life, I can't even pick women up. I'll grab your hand before you walk away, and I'm like, just relax. I can't relax. I've made a fool of myself. I have to leave. <laughs> Can I come with you? My suit feels tight. My tie feels tight. That's fine, but I have to meet Kriegoth later. Okay. And I just walk out with Thomas. All right. Loves Everybody else yeah, doing Patricia. Wait, you guys like left the gathering? Yeah, I'm I'm overly embarrassed. Oh. Well. Did you wanna did you wanna verbally? No, no, Thomas? I just was like you, <laughs> no, I just didn't know what you guys were. I just thought there was gonna be some rolls for spice for a second and yeah. I was like, I'm interested. Thomas is I'm like, invested. oh man, it, they just left. Like there goes our fucking man. entertainment for the night. Like they must have I might be able to convince him to vehicle. come back. It's shaking a lot. <laughs> that was a good Jonathan. I'm like, well, that was interesting. <sighs> I don't really think anybody can follow up with that because that yeah. pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> The love is in the air, that's, Patricia. That's pretty much how real life goes between me and her. She tells me I don't do something. I over, I double down on it and make a big spectacle. Yeah, so. you want me to do it? You got to do it now. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. It, so it, it just... never, ever goes well. <laughs> I think uh, uh, Jonathan, uh, I think he's actually going to go and talk to Iris. Okay gonna go up and slightly bow his head unbutton the top button that was a little too tight because he can't quite stare at the eyes of this woman ingo iris good evening jonathan how are you tonight i'm doing well how are you i'm quite well thank you so uh, the events of this evening have been extraordinary with that Ventru. Indeed. Indeed it has. I hope things work out for them. I do as well. I... Dustin! Oh, we lost somebody out that window again. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> that was Thomas screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas, yeah. Um, God, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, I, I think what he wants to ask is, he knows he's gonna have to dive into this whole Malkavian BS, and he's not all for it, but he's kind of fighting against that will, and. He wants to ask about the similar insanity that he felt when he used his aspects and talked to her 
and see if maybe he can converse with her a little bit about that. Like, potentially wherever that was going along. Whoever was throwing those things and had this anger towards whatever was going on. Oh, so you want to ask her about your 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 psychometric yeah. from using your power. So she she looks at you and she goes, "Well, we always have to be careful when using our powers because they can draw us into another place and cause us to do things that that are weird or whatever, and she reaches out and touches your hand. And for a minute, she just stops, and her eyes go real big, and she just sort of, she's like this. And and she sits for a good minute holding your hand. (laughs) Oh, my God. I think probably every 15 seconds it turns into... Like I said, after about a minute, minute and a half, she comes to and shakes her head and she says, Oh dear, I I just had a vision. No kidding. She said, I I, I saw I saw the general. And he's got something terrible planned. I just see explosions. And she just shakes her head and she just puts her head down. The first time she's ever, you know, shown any kind of Mm -hmm. genuine emotion and her face is not all creepy and... um, She says, I'm sorry. I must go. I need to go. And she gets up and she walks back behind the curtain that's behind um, the dais and the last you see of her for the night. Jonathan knows the Malkavians have been watching him and he's just been trying to keep his eyes on whatever they're doing and just was in hopes that maybe just behind the lids of these in the iris quote unquote that he would have been able to kind of figure something a little more detailed and the way she reacted makes him feel like it's not quite over yet Did I, um, is it possible to kind of like roll during that minute of holding her hand? Was I able to like tap into anything she was going through? Um, (laughs) no, not really. Okay. Understood. I take that as his moment he goes ahead and starts turning to his leave and starts heading towards the elevator all right oh hey jonathan before you go What's jo- up? jonathan jo- jonathan <laughs> do you have a card like a business card to an extent i do and i okay. pull out a card and i hand it to her oh fantastic unless just I in case i need to get touch with you for some reason All right. i didn't have your number it. okay well you have it now is there something trouble in you patricia no i just <laughs> you never know who you might need to contact so i i seem to be collecting business cards now well, let's not make it a habit of just collecting them and not following through <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you there? You broke it. Yeah. Oh. This is a good game. It's great. 
okay. Do you need a cigarette? Are you all right? No. I, well, I, no, I just literally. I just had a moment ago, like a moment that like lasted a minute of silence. You giving me silence didn't I help. Trisha looks like she's having trouble. So I'm I, you know, like, I'm trying right? to just figure out what the follow through was supposed to be. It's just, uh, you know, you put them in a Rolodex, and if you need to call somebody, you call them. I, yes, was and I supposed I to be I, doing something else? I'm I'm hoping by you gaining my information or to a number as such that I'm figuring that you may want to get in contact with me soon. Especially for my line of work. Yes. Okay, well that's um yeah. I hadn't really considered that, but well, I mean, I did, but I didn't, but you have a good night. You too, Patricia. Okay. Until we meet again. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm doing business cards all wrong. I can get up from my table. <laughs> Bye, Jonathan. <laughs> and I Patricia. walk over to Emery, and I lean down, and I whisper into her ear, can I have a moment of your time, please? Privately. Right. Shall we take a walk out? Private jet. All right. Thank you. So I walk out and open the door to the balcony for you. And we, uh, it's probably skanks were here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> smells like sex still out here. <laughs> smells like Disney and sex. And cheese. And cheese. <laughs> and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, so, Gromit. So once you get out on the balcony, I take a look around to make sure there's nobody around. There's no one out there. And, I, and then I say, so I have to talk to you about something that happened uh, uh, a little bit ago. Um, when we first went into this uh, to, to respond to the prince's order to investigate the breach of the masquerade, you called in a, a, a contact. Yes. Who was with the mafia to handle that body? Yes, Just John. The other week, uh, I was called in by someone else who, for now, will remain nameless, who was being followed. They did not know by who. But uh, so I backed them up and we brought this situation to a head and. Turns out the person following was the contact you called. And after a bit of coercing, uh, it was brought out that he was paid by someone called Antonio to kill the person who was being followed. Now, of course, I interceded and that person is just fine. But the the question comes to mind, is this something to do with you directly? And if so, um, do you want to continue talking about this or should we like, I mean, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to cause you any undue embarrassment or, or stress. So if, if this is something you're, you're sanctioning, I need to know. Uh, and, and um, if not, I need to know that as well. Also, this is the person that, that gave up that recording as well. Yes, this is that same person. And no, I have not sanctioned this, nor do I know of any Antonio. Well, um, if you should find out any information about... Oh, there's also mention of a guy named Johnny. If you can find out any information about either one of them, I would love to know it. Um, well, jo Johnny is my contact to... that's in the Mafia. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so if you know anything about him that I don't know, um, I, I, I would like to know it because uh, I, I'm trying to figure out why this was uh, hit was put out in the first place and who put it out. This person that the hit was put on, were they human or vampire? Uh, kindred. Hmm. 
so they were one of us. Yes. Did Johnny seem to know that? Yes. Oh, thank you for this information. I'm going to have to have a chat with him because um, this is not something I was aware of. That's not necessary. You won't be having any chats with him ever. So, um, <laughs> well, I sincerely apologize if I put you out. Um, I felt that it was completely uh, necessary given the situation and the intent. <laughs> <laughs> for like quite a while and uh it felt nice to take a bite out of crime high five dilson can you do me a favor good. the next time you're gonna kill one of my contacts or allies Please consult with me first. I would have loved to. If you're going to kill him, I could have interrogated him first. Oh, I interrogated I... him plenty. I promise you that. Uh, no interrogation was not done. He was most I... definitely interrogated. No, I understand you interrogated him. But I would have wanted to interrogate him. I... I... Completely understand. In future, if I should run into any of your contacts, I will try to simply subdue and call you. Um, Please, the situation, I yeah, I understand. The situation at the time seemed to warrant the action that was taken, uh, and I was not the only person who thought that. So, um, I just wanted you to know it wasn't me being wild and flying off the handle, as I'm apparently the only. I'm a beast who only does things like that. So. Uh, that's that's not what happened. Um, it was a uh, it was a necessary move. Well, I appreciate your honesty, and I appreciate you taking into consideration in the future to reach out to me before you kill them. Oh, uh, absolutely. If if you have any other contacts that are in the mafia that you would like me to know about, maybe text me a list of their names so I can try to not eat them when I see them. Well, just do me a favor. Don't kill the mayor, don't kill the sheriff, and don't kill the sheriff's son. Just, just leave them alone. I have alone. no intention of killing any of those people unless they're uh, uh, having intercourse with children, in which case they're definitely on the menu. So you might want to correct that behavior if you want to keep him alive. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's a deal breaker for me. I'm sorry. I, I understand. It, it, Believe my, me, I completely understand. I actually don't feed off children specifically I, for that I reason. I don't either. I find it abhorrent. And uh, I, I'd like to say I would react with incredible violence to anyone I found doing such a thing. Uh there's just some things we shouldn't do. Alright, well, you if you encounter any new information, please I... let me know. You have my number. I always have my phone on me. Feel free to reach out to me throughout the week. If you find anything, if there's anything I can help you with. Well, as, as I mentioned earlier, I am looking for anything to do with the general or any of his associates. Um, oh, okay. So, if you keep an eye out for me on that, I will do my best not to eat your contacts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, I just wanted to apologize, I guess. Um, it's a little late for that, Thomas. <laughs> That's uh, pretty goth. No, I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, for the record, though, uh, it turns out that the uh, spice that they use on all their food it does get into the blood. It's quite quite a quite a treat. I'm gonna have to eat more Italians in the future. Ah, is that why you're giggling today? No, no, I was uh, picturing a murder carnival with a, a specific skank on it, just being led around from ride to ride, being ripped to pieces and stapled to the wall and blown up and eviscerated and, and the carnival goes on you know and it was uh, such a captivating idea it just sort of overtook me 
Gotcha. I understand. Well, this has been quite a night, so I think I'm going to head out. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, again, my apologies. And uh, as I said, if I find out anything interesting about either situation, the general or the other one, I will most definitely give you a call. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, have a nice night, Emery. Have a nice night. Pleasure as always. Are Patricia and Jonathan still here, like, near the bar? Or... I would say I was still near the elevator, because I was about to make my leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm still here-ish. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> um, I think I'd make sure to explain my line of work and ask Patricia, like, is there anything that you're, like, wanting me to investigate? Are you having qualms that you feel that you are in danger? Honestly, I was just trying to be friendly. All right. Well, I mean, but maybe, um, maybe I'm not doing that right. No, you're doing fine, Patricia. Oh, okay. If if you do want to meet and be able to know each other on better standards, I am willing. I don't oh. typically find myself. To, to a loft, I guess. So, I apologize if I seem standoffish. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't that. It was just, you know, I, I try to be as friendly as I can with people. Because you just never know who would be able to help you out or who you can help out. And, and if I can call you if I need to. Or if I find something out that I think might be helpful. You just never know. Yeah, absolutely. I do That's appreciate the fact that, like, your business card is very nicely laid out, and I don't have to wipe blood on it to read it. That's that's very nice. Who does that? Oh, Kriegoth. You have to cut yourself, and it only you can only see it with vampire blood. I slowly drift my eyes over into the direction where Kriegoth could be. I'm coming in from the okay. porch. So, I mean, balcony. It, <laughs> it, it's kind of cool. It's just not, not, if you don't know how to use it, it's kind of useless. I see. Is only his business done with vampires? I mean, I, you know, couldn't speak to that one way or the other. I've never specifically asked. I mean, probably, other than like meals. Nope. Maybe. Understood. Well. And at that point, I have like walked up to him, like, "All right, I'm heading out for the night." Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Uh, I'll make like sure to, to give you the address. You Sorry, the the address for. Um. If you ever need to meet me at my office, I will make sure Oh, it's not here on there. the card. I typically don't like too many people to know where I'm at. I have too many uh, people that I would rather not know my establishment. No, no, no. I understand that. You know what? If something comes up, I'll call and we can arrange that. Good. Yes. Glad to um, hear. Oh, here's my card as well, too. No obligations. No strings attached. Just make sure to visit in your Rolodex. Yes. I got one of those nice flippy turny ones on my desk. I like it. The old school ones. Yeah, yeah. Like when I get bored on the phone, I'll just sit and spin it and they get just... It's great. Yeah, I I used to have one when I was in police work. Oh, oh nice. So you were a policeman before you became a kindred? And then you um, stayed in the same line of work? Well, not truly the same line of work. Um, <laughs> I, I literally walked into another hysteria moment and I didn't even mean to. Um, fuck. Okay. You're good. 
Okay. I'm sorry. Did I, was that a touchy question? You kind of got a little, little glazed look on your face there for a second. I didn't mean to pry. I was just trying to be conversational. Um, it's it's fine. It's something I don't think I've chosen to come to terms with. Fair enough. I look a little bit at Emery, noticing that she's there, and I'm like, I'm sorry, was you saying something, Emery? Oh, nothing. Um, so I'm a bit out of it at this hour. It's It's been a long week. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys will be staying a bit longer, but I definitely need to head out. Maybe find a nice drunk human to drink or something. I don't know. But, yep. Well, I'm yeah, I then. think I'm going to head home. I got some more writing to do on my screenplays before I call it a morning. Sounds good. Would you like me to walk you to your car? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully the elevator's a little bit more cooperative this time. Yeah, hopefully. I press the button, it reaches our floor. The doors open, then close back. Apparently not. No, no, when the doors open, <laughs> Thomas and Arabella are in there just like <laughs> trying to have a conversation <laughs> still. <laughs> conversation. <laughs> oh, my no, bad. Sorry. Don't walk people around and introduce them to every single person. We're not Hi, in the God. elevator. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> We're not in uh, the elevator. Uh, I know, going down? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I mean, like the elevator. Hey, damn. <laughs> uh, uh, fire Did me. Did we all just take the same drugs tonight? No, I believe I'm the only one on drugs tonight. Let's go. Don't worry, though. I've done enough for all the rest of you. That's what I don't know. I took some hardcore ibuprofen earlier. Bro, I did I too. Got I took an 800 well. milligram. Woo woo. I, I've been smoking not only weed but DMT, so yeah, I think I'm winning. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I don't know, man. I prefer yeah. pretty hard stuff. All right. Jonathan, will you be joining us? I believe so. He's going to be starting to head out to his car once we get to the lobby. All right. I'm going to. Be nice and walk Patricia to her car. Okay. Uh, thank you. You have a good evening. Me too. And I'm glad to see you and Jonathan are getting along. Yeah. Oh, hey, can I ask you just one really quick question? Sure, of course. When you ask somebody for a copy of their business card, does that like put you under some kind of obligation that I wasn't aware of? Well, from what I've learned in my time in this country... It's considered kind of rude sometimes to get someone. When someone gives you their business card, they want you to contact them. So it can be considered a bit rude if you don't contact them. But it's okay to just ask for their phone number? I just... I'm a little confused on what the social etiquette difference is. Oh, there's so much... To learn regarding social etiquette constantly. It shifts so often, but uh yeah, typically if someone gives you their business card specifically directly to you, um, they expect a call, they expect some sort of contact, and if you don't, especially if you take too long even, uh, it can be seen as rude. That seems so backwards. I would think that like it would be like, Hey, can I have your phone number? I'm definitely gonna call you. Would definitely be implied there, but not really just for a business card. I mean, people make a lot of assumptions in their head, so most more often than not, what you don't say is what they think. I mean, honestly, I just ask for it because I'm not real good at remembering numbers, and uh, I haven't figured out how to work that like phone book thing on my phone. Oh, I can teach you. Uh, it's not worth it. Uh, trust me. I, everybody's tried, and I, it, you know, I prefer to just type them in manually every single time. Alrighty, sit yourself, me. I will learn everything I ever can if it gets me ahead. Yeah, I'm kind of old school. 
I'd still send, you know, physical letters if I could, but nobody wants to give me their address. It's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, people are awfully secretive about that. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fair. All right, so you have, have a good night. night. Yeah, oh, <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs> you too, Patricia. I'm going to walk to my car, and actually, as I'm walking to my car, I'm going to shoot Thomas a quick text and be like, congrats on Arabella. A definite step up from that puta you were hanging with. Hopefully she'll be a better influence on you. You'll see three dots. And then they go away. And then you'll see three dots. And then they go away. <laughs> and then you see three dots and it just stays there. And then you get an eggplant emoji. <laughs> with a squirt Rose. symbol. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I think Kriegoth's the only one left. No, Sin's left. That's right. Sin's like, where did everybody go? It's just like real life hanging out with me. He turns around and I'm just like, God. God. <laughs> me in a store if there's anything I find interesting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then I come back like with this arm full of stuff and just dump it in the cart and he's like, eh. It's fine. <laughs> so where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> we needed all these things, including this miniature frying pan. It's fine. We were at Walmart <laughs> earlier and passed by the pet section and there was a tiny dinosaur that you put like in a fish tank and I just oh. go and I pick it up and I'm like, look, it's a dinosaur. And my boyfriend just says, you don't even have a fish. I'm like, I don't need a fish to have a dinosaur. It's true. <laughs> I do have a fish, a fish and he might Do you think I'm crazy? It. Right? <laughs> like, why would I have a fish when I can have a dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> You can put him in a plant. He can be like your dinosaur plant. <laughs> yeah. I have good news and bad news. I named him Philip. What's the bad news? It's a girl dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how I named my bird when I was five. I got a cockatiel, and I named him. I named her Minnie, like Minnie Mouse. And then it turned out he was a boy. Oh. And then it became about his penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has a penis. The corkscrew penis. Uh, well, that's Watch a good point, isn't it? Yeah, I swear, I thought that I thought that she was gonna say, "When a man loves a woman, he gives her his business card." <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fitting. Yeah, I was really waiting for you to be like, he expects sex. <laughs> he, uh... <laughs> it's a certain I... kind of commitment to get a business card. I think we've had so many innuendos <laughs> tonight that, like... I do think Sin one time pointed at me and was like, there's your, uh, stripper, and it's like... And he's yeah. like, oh, no, your line of work, and then uh... even Patricia's like, what line? You're a uh, I knew there was something I forgot <laughs> Do you to have ask? your business card on you? What do I have to do to get that hat off you, Pilgrim? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> all right i finished my my gargoyle oh he's <gasps> kind of blurry oh it's that's awesome cool. that looks yeah. very good he's cute that's he's so cute. cool so Wait, good sin and kriegoth want to do anything before we close out i was uh, gonna ask if julian ever showed up at all uh he did not show up tonight okay mm. all righty He's on a different uh, ship. The yep. ship has sailed. I guess. And, and you'll all notice that really, unless something major is going on, most of the primogen don't show up. Hmm. Okay. wonder why that is. Obviously bigger fish to fry than being at the masquerade. Hmm. All right. So, does anybody got anything else? No, I think no. everything we already talked about. We're we're gonna be All going right. on that. I won't be here next week. Okay. 
Boo. Someone's birthday's coming up. You mean you'll be in the place? Boo her. 